I've been thinking, right, lately, in general, just with, you know, the issues going on with the jam around, now, lately, there's this, um, uh, there's a post going around on social media that takes some clips of Jamaran's Instagram stories where it looks like it's a cry for help because he's posting all these clips reminiscing on old times and then at the end of it he posted a bye message now he could just be being a drama queen because he's you know he's 22 23 24 these kids nowadays they, they love attention as we see recently with the thing i recently featured on the random show about that kid called mizzy he's a uk prankster that was walking into people's houses and stuff just for the fun of it these kids nowadays love any attention so i'm sure for the most part more than likely jamaran isn't in any kind of danger he's just posting what he posted making it seem like he wants to self-expire because he's feeling you know sad about his situation he's feeling mopey he wants people to feel sorry for him blah 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 it is what it is but also got me thinking in general about my stance where I said he should be allowed to crash out. He should be allowed to do exactly what he wants to do with his career. If he decides that he finds it more important, he finds it more worthwhile to get on camera and start stunting with the guns and stuff, even though it's not something that's technically not allowed in the league, but I guess the NBA doesn't like to have their players doing that sort of thing based on what it may send, message, whatever it may be. So they've kind of made it clear that they don't like that. He keeps continuing to do so. His friends can't be blamed also because in the recent video clip, that friend actually tried to help him. That friend tried to change or move the camera, but it seems like whenever Jamaran gets in front of a flipping camera, whenever he's in, on IG Live, he can't help but pick out his tool. Now, he's very talented, clearly. He's got a long future ahead of him if he decides to be behave, if he decides to play ball, quote unquote, and behave. That's fair enough. But if he decides to crash out as a grown man, as a grown adult human being, he should be allowed to. I know it's upsetting for us regular civilians, myself included, that somebody like him who's on a hundred million plus contract, Nike endorsements, all these energy drink endorsements, so much potential, uh, you know, up and coming that he would be throwing it all away. I know it kind of does leave it, you know, it kind of does sting us a little bit when we see that sort of thing happening. But I feel like people should be allowed to crash out because ultimately, I feel like crashing out, even though you have God-given talent, and you have this once a left opportunity to make crazy amounts of money and to go down as a legend in your sport is the same thing about, it's the same sort of thing as not caring. It's on the same sort of like wavelength. I've just not given a fuck. And the reason why I mentioned this about not giving the fuck is my guy, Wings of Redemption. Rings of Redemption has finally decided to give up trying to make a change in his life fully i can already taste it i can already feel it i can already see it because i pay attention to these locales and i love watching rings of redemption you know like a reality tv show program he's entertaining to me and since the post fight his boxing fight with boogie he had a lot of goodwill around him everyone was kind of encouraging wings wishing that he'd kind of continue boxing in a way because they'd hope maybe if he continued boxing he may end up losing the weight if he ends up losing the weight he may end up having a new motivation for life you end up might pursuing other things becoming a better streamer becoming a better gamer blah 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 but ultimately wings is who he is and I think the really good thing about locales, locales are very similar to us. It's why sometimes whenever I cover celebrities or notable people on my channel or my stream, I try not to otherize them. I try not to make them alien. I try not to kind of look at them from some sort of level of like moral superiority. Like, oh, I would never do that. <laughs> no, because I feel like we're all on the same, we're all on the same sort of um, plane that we operate in some of us are maybe are on a nicer patch of grass but essentially it's the same patch of grass if that's the case i know more than likely especially because i know how driven i know how motivated that i am i'm also very comfortable with the idea of somebody being the complete opposite of me and being completely content I don't think you need to be like I I am at the moment. I don't think you need to be, you know, always trying to strive and go for your dreams and pushing this and because my stuff can be quite what's that word called? It'd be quite destructive in its own way. Because generally I can't really have silence, right? I don't meditate because I can't really operate in silence. I always have to have a podcast playing, music playing, thinking, um, speaking to myself, running around, blah, 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 always filling my time up with stuff, blah, 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 blah. All of that is because I'm not really content with like sitting in my own thoughts and just chilling out. And there's maybe some anxiety tied in there, some frustration career-wise, whatever. There's something going on there. But I know 
that the opposite of me also exists on the same plane. And the opposite of me in that existence is somebody like a Wings of Redemption who just doesn't care, who's comfortable in the level that they're at at the moment. Call it level one, call it level zero, whatever. He's 400 pounds. All he does is order takeout. He sits in his, you know, a modular mansion, not moving from his chair, scooting around everywhere on his chair, asking his wife to get him water. He can't even bother to get up and shit, eating like horrible crap, being super toxic on streams and not doing, <coughs> and not trying to improve himself in any way, shape or form. And I'm saying that should be allowed because clearly his fans don't mind because they give him money to keep on doing what he's doing. Because I feel like, you know, if you don't want to encourage somebody to keep doing bad decisions or making bad choices, you should maybe not encourage them. And they're partly encouraging him by giving him tips, by subbing to his channel, sending him donos, sending him games and controllers. All those things are kind of reinforcing to him messages that what he's doing is fine. And now we're at a point, post-fight with Boogie, where you'd think he had all this goodwill around him. The first stream back from the boxing fight. He had tons of fucking super chats, tons of tips. Everybody encouraging him. Yeah, Boogie, go for it. Get another fight in the books. Hopefully you can lose some weight. Get under 400 pounds. Maybe aim for 300 pounds. Maybe you could do 250 pounds. Whoa. Everybody's kind of encouraging him. PKA thing may happen. But eventually, you always revert back to who you actually are. And here's a clip I'm going to play off my phone. I don't load it on my screen because it's getting too crazy. But this is a clip taken from Breaking Banquet's latest episode. Breaking Banquet's latest episode, right? Latest episode featuring Boogie. Sorry, featuring Windsor Redemption. And what you will see here, what you will hear here, is a man who just doesn't care. Who's over it, has accepted it, and doesn't want to make any necessary changes. Listen to Wings talk, and then you can tell me what you think about this. Really, why? Like, I like I was afraid I was gonna fail. Like the whole, like I was I was pulling so many viewers, and I'm like, if I get myself to believe that this is the new norm, I will set myself up for failure. So, like, I came in. Did you hear that? Because the post fight stream went so well, he was afraid that that would set him up for failure because the people that were coming to see him post fight were new people. Some fans, but some new people, like, wanting to give him a chance. And he knew he couldn't live up to that level. He couldn't be that positive. He couldn't have that... He couldn't, he couldn't repay their goodwill by, by changing his behaviour, by changing his outlook on life. He knew more than likely he would have to revert back to what he's always been. A miserable, miserable guy. Whatever. Manic, depressive, whatever it may be. He knew eventually he'd have to revert back to it. And what I'm saying is that that should be allowed. You should be allowed to be like, hey, I just don't have any dreams. I don't have any aspirations. I just want to sit here where I am right now, continue doing the bare minimum while getting the most out of life, feeling entitled, um, feeling like I deserve a career. I deserve people's, I'm entitled to their money. I'm entitled to their attention. I'm entitled to their eyes, their engagement, because so far it's worked. Because you can't say it hasn't. It's worked for 10 plus years for these guys. Wings, DSP, Boogie. Why should they change? Why should they change? It continues. Hey, and I pulled like two, I think the, the highest views we got this stream was, I don't know, maybe, I don't think we hit 300 at all at any point in the stream, like 290. So it's easier to accept it if you uh, do it. That's something that my wife hates, right? That I'm always thinking about the worst. And my, my whole line of think is like, if you prepare yourself for the worst, anything else that happens is good, right? Always. But the funny thing about him saying that, I agree with that kind of mode of thinking because I'm always along the lines of like, you're always going to encounter more struggle in your life than you're going to encounter good times. So you have to build yourself up in a way or condition your way, which is kind of the stoic principles, right? Of living your life, right? That's a stoic philosophy of looking at your life that you always have to kind of condition yourself and temper yourself in a way where you can withstand the flipping uh, pitfalls and shortcomings of life. Because more than likely, you're going to have to spend more time digging yourself out of a hole as opposed to lying back on a hammock somewhere. That's the nature of life. But what he's saying, the undercurrent of what he's saying, really, why bother trying if most things are going to go wrong? That's essentially what he's saying. Big up wings. Prepare yourself for the worst outcome possible. So every time I would come on the stream, I would prepare myself for getting 
less than 300 viewers, never touching the donation goal and things like that. So, like, it kind of, like, curtailed, like, my thing. It, like, every now and then you let it slip, you know? Yeah. You never have expectations. You never have let down. I, uh, Calvin, <laughs> if I thought that upgrading my PlayStation account was worth it, I would have done it. I looked at the game library, and I didn't want to play any of that. Is it, honestly, like, I'm I'm at the point in my life where I'm kind of cool with this failing. Like, that's why I, <laughs> I, I, t- I took this fight mainly to fix my leg and some household repairs, because, like, if I can get myself to be able to stand up because like right now i can't stand up for more than 10 minutes like if i walk around i'm good right because I, I just did a 40 minute stream the other day of me walking around war warbird park but if i stand still my leg goes to sleep which you know in the big imagine imagine your body telling you you need to make some change physiologically your body's saying it's breaking it's going down something wrong emergency emergency and you're not willing to make a change. That is, to me, the physiological re- repre- the physiological representation of giving up. And what I'm saying here, just to end it, is that you should be allowed to give up. It shouldn't be something that's looked down upon. So going back to the Jam Morant stuff, I don't know why everybody wants to give this guy a lecture, give him a talking... Even the stuff with Mizzy, with that prankster, walking into people's homes. He doesn't need rehabilitation. More than likely, that kid is you know, is already gone. He's already, you know, a lost cause. There's some damage there that cannot be kind of redone. He's a clout demon. He's got the clout virus, whatever it may be. Some people are just the way they are because they're just the way they are. And no amount of correction is ever going to fix that, especially if they're getting out of it what they want to get out of it. In terms of Mizzy, you get all the engagements, you get all the follows, you get all the hate comments. That to you is still a bit of clout. You're on TV and shit. You might have a verified account, all that nonsense. Same with Wings. You've got a 10 plus career, um, you know, in live streaming, not having to work a regular job, sitting on your ass, playing video games very badly, being toxic on streams, and so far you've been rewarded for it. Why should you change? That is my main point. Why should you change if the world has given you no incentive to change? And also, if I exist, a very driven, self-motivated type of person who cannot keep still and has to keep on moving. Cool. That's amazing. I can look at myself and think, oh, you're doing great. Give yourself a pat on the back. Brendan Straub style. But if I exist, the opposite also has to exist. The person who doesn't really give a shit, who takes life as it comes, who's always complaining, who expects everything for everybody, who's always got their hand out, feels super entitled, doesn't want to do anything to change or correct their life, always blaming people, is always the victim. That person also exists and they have to, have to be left to exist. That's my one and only point. Let people be lazy. Let people give up. Let people crash out because why not? All right. At least it makes their life somewhat fun. And also, we have enough things to worry about ourselves anyway. Why should you concern somebody? Why should you be concerned about how somebody decides to live their life? Unless they're directly, you know, involved in yours, a member of your family, somebody you care about. Why should you care how they decide to live their life? Like I said, with the John Morant stuff, it's very frustrating because I think for the most part, especially in basketball, similar to here in the UK with football, which you guys in America called soccer, because there's so many people out there who try and fail to become professional athletes, sometimes when you see somebody who's super gifted and is given this incredible once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to change their lives, to become a legend in their sport, to play at the highest levels, win all the trophies, and you're seeing them piss it all away, it can really grate at you like, fuck, man, if that was me, I would do this, I would do that. But guess what? It's not you. It's them. They should be allowed to do it. It's just a job like anything else. Doesn't mean because you wanted to do it and now they're doing it and they're taking the piss out of it, it kind of makes it any less worthwhile. No, let them carry on with their life. Let them crash out as they be and use them as an example because they're not that different from you. That's what I'm saying. We all live on equal playing field. I'm not looking down at John Ryan thinking, oh, how do you do that? You, if you had that talent, I'll do something different. No, we don't know what's going on with his life, but it's a, me- it's a lesson that can be learned both ways he could look at somebody crushing it you know being a store manager at fucking target and think wow man i wish i had his motivation i wish i had his drive i wish i had his commitment in the same way the target guy can look at it thinking rah the grass isn't always green on the other side look at what this kid is doing that's my message let people crash out 
because they want to crash out. But hey, maybe, maybe I'm incorrect in this one. I'd love to know your thoughts and feelings later on as you speak about this. 